This training presentation is brought to you by NEMA, the North American Insulation Manufacturers Association. Its role is to promote energy efficiency and environmental preservation through the use of fiberglass, rock wool, and slag wool insulation, and to encourage the safe production and use of these materials. These fabrication lessons supplement the NEMA Fibrous Glass Duct Construction Standards Manual. More and more residential and light commercial HVAC jobs are being installed using rigid fiberglass duct systems, and there are many reasons why this is a growing trend. When properly fabricated and installed, fiberglass ductboard systems deliver heated and cooled air efficiently, quietly, at design temperatures with minimal air leakage. It is that simple. Another benefit is that fiberglass duct systems are easy to fabricate and install. The ducts are lightweight and changes can be made right on the job site with simple hand tools. You will soon see that fittings are easier to make when using the modular duct construction method and, in many cases, they are stronger, faster and less costly to fabricate than the same type of sheet metal fitting. For those of you who have never worked with fiberglass duct board, ducts are fabricated from 4 foot by 10 foot sheets of fiberglass board. Each board has factory formed male and female shiplap edges, engineered to provide a method for joining duct joints together. One side of the board has an aluminum vapor retarder facing, reinforced with fiberglass fabric adhered to the surface. This exterior surface also serves as the finish and provides the closure tab for duct joints. The other side of the board is the airstream surface. These surfaces are tough enough for air movement up to 5,000 feet per minute without breaking down and stand up to duct cleaning if needed. Fiberglass duct systems come in three thicknesses, one inch, one and a half inch, and two inches. Ducts are formed by making grooved cuts in the board and folding it into a duct, sort of like forming sheet metal in a break. The longitudinal joint, when stapled and taped in place, is like a Pittsburgh joint in sheet metal. It forms an airtight seam and holds the duct together. The finished duct meets the building codes and does four jobs. Insulates against heat loss or gain, delivers air efficiently, provides a quieter system because the insulation attenuates noise in the ductwork, and prevents ducts from sweating and dripping. Whether you are experienced or new to fiberglass duct construction, there's a wealth of information in the demonstrations that follow. We will review the latest fabrication techniques, time-saving tools, and tips. Plus, we will show you how to groove duckboard on a grooving machine, which increases your accuracy and efficiency immensely. Much of what you will see is detailed in NEMA's Fiberglass Duct Construction Standards Manual, which is available for free in PDF format online. We begin with hand tool fabrication of straight ducts, and then spend some time on proper duct closure systems. We will also address the principles of modular duct construction, an important concept for the fabrication of fittings. We'll show you how to fabricate a 90 degree elbow with turning vanes, a three piece 90 degree elbow, a 90 degree T, transitions, offsets, branch tap outs, end cap fabrication, and a demonstration on duct reinforcement for larger duct systems. The sessions are arranged so that you can pause at the end of a lesson and do hands-on fabrication. Every time you review a module, you'll pick up valuable tips. You'll need some basic tools to get started. For grooving tools, you typically have a choice of three manufacturer's systems that are in common use. Amcraft, Glassmaster, and Melco, but other brands may be available. The tools are marked for the board thickness you need to groove. In addition to the grooving tools, you will need a few more items. A good quality knife, such as the Murphy shoe knife. A good work surface, such as a tilt top table. A staple gun and staples. UL181A pressure sensitive tape. And a squeegee, or one of the other approved closure systems. There are a few other tips that you need to be aware of, and we will remind you again during the demonstrations. When using the staple gun, make sure the staple gun is perpendicular to the surface of the duct as you staple. This is so that you don't get a leg of the staple coming back up through the facing. For that very reason, 
Do not use your hand to rub down the tape on the closure system. As you will see, the tape goes over the staples. Use a squeegee at all times to get a good seal and to protect your hands from getting cut from random staple legs. There are some recommended safe work practices that are important to know when working with fiberglass duckboard systems. For comfort, NEMA recommends the use of protective equipment such as loose-fitting, long-sleeved, and long-leg clothing and safety glasses when handling, fabricating, and installing fiberglass insulation products. To minimize upper respiratory irritation, a NIOSH 95 two-strap respirator can be worn for comfort. If fibers accumulate on the skin, do not rub or scratch and do not remove fibers from the skin by blowing with compressed air. If fibers penetrate the skin, they may be removed by applying and then removing adhesive tape so the fibers adhere to the tape and are pulled out of the skin. And finally, if fibers get into the eye, do not rub. Flush the eyes with water or eye wash solution and consult a physician if the irritation persists. For more information on fiberglass duckboard systems, NEMA's fabrication recommendations or standards, contact NEMA or any one of the fiberglass duckboard manufacturers. For more safe work practice recommendations, consult the product safety data sheet, MSDS or SDS, and review the manufacturer's recommendations found on the labels and instruction sheets. Comply with all applicable U.S., OSHA, state, and or other applicable government and employer standards and requirements. NEMA's product stewardship program for worker protection is available on NEMA's website.